Today we're in Bordeaux and going to have a look at the cemetery. Let's give a little idea what's around it. Amazing trees. So this is the entrance or one of the entrances to the cemetery. I mean, they don't bury people like they used to, do they? I mean, look at that one. Amazing. It's actually raining today slightly. I was am amazed at these little houses they put, I think they're called tombs. Look at that. 1938, 1839. 1950, 1910, so in various members of the family were built, buried in there. And so that was the door. I mean, I don't know if all those bodies are still in there because there's quite a few names on there. Here's one with the door open. <laughs> Should we have a look inside? Hmm. That's weird, isn't it? So imagine that, the door closed. I mean, it's enough room to put a bed here. So the 1936 to 2019, that was quite recent. It's like a brass urn there, I presume. That could be the person's ashes, I'm not really sure there. Really? Should we give it a shake? There seems to be nothing in it. Weird eyes. So there it is. We're actually inside one of these places. Small bottle there. Various bits. The door closes. <laughs> what did it open my I like these movies where you get locked in a bloody tomb or something. So that's it, isn't it? We actually went inside one. Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. And so these trees apparently ward off um evil spirits. They're normally in Protestant churches, so I believe this to be a Protestant church. And normally in Protestants you don't have many crosses, but I'm not an expert on religion. And look at that, I mean it looks quite new that um, grave, doesn't it? 1787 to 1839. 2004, someone's put some, um, a few stones on there. 1911 to 2004. Let's just give you a little view of the place. So I noticed in Catholic churches you really go overboard, you know, Padre Pio and not so Catholic cemeteries when you arrive there. Sometimes they have the photo of the person, on, especially in Italy, they have the photo of the person who, who's buried. And sometimes even their address where they lived, you know. Well, they lived in Mulgrave Cottage or something. You would say that on the gravestone. And then they would have things, you know. Like trinkets. And there's my pet, pet hate. Wheelie bins. Look at that fucking wheelie bins. There's a tap here for water. This is working. So those trees are ward off evil spirits. I mean, some of these are in quite good condition. I don't know if it's the families keeping them in good condition or whoever, but some of the gravestones or monuments, whatever you want to call them, in quite good condition and the one thing I hate is also a pet hate besides 
wheelie bins is plastic flowers in cemeteries because they just tend to blow everywhere and so oh, well, people don't go there for um you know they might only visit the cemetery once a year but really i mean it does look very nice these ones until you get a strong wind that blow it away 1959 is that 1959 well i think that was a song by patty smith the more plastic flowers well i'm not sure i think they're like um they're not plastic I can't remember what they're called. They're expensive then. So you can hear the sound of kids from I don't know, what, playground or school or something. It is a Sunday, so I don't think it'll be school, but. So here we are amongst the dead and just over the wall there is life. Nineteen thirty to nineteen twenty one. Go down at earnings, eh? Innings, is it, you know? <laughs> Was he playing cricket? I don't know. So look there tulips and they're actually real which is nice to see something which is alive and some primroses I think they're called pansies <laughs> I wonder how many pansies are buried here <laughs> so there's one with a photograph on 1778 so it's some say some say that I've or have heard it said that um, sometimes the more important that you were in the world, the smaller the grave you are have. I don't know how true it is. So it's one would have gone overboard with the bits. And they've got a photograph on it. 1983. There she is there. 1983. Well, somebody loved them. Sorry about my finger there. Somebody loved them, didn't they? 